Hey guys, Rusty here at Ugly HP on take three because customers keep walking up while I'm trying to start this. But we got a uh, 06 Pontiac G6 with a 3500 changing the water pump on. Um, we got the air box out 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter, and take the whole air tube out. Unplug the mass airflow connector, and uh, this is how open you are. So, what we're going to do is we're going to get all these just broken loose. Ten millimeter does this. And now we're going to take the serpentine belt off. If you take the serpentine belt off first, um, it's not going to be fun getting these guys off and we're not taking the belt all the way off for us we have to pull this mount out we're just going to take it and stretch it up out of the way now we have the cap off for the catch reservoir or the overflow tank whatever you want to call it uh, coolant reservoir this way when we uh, pop the water pump out, it, it just drains, and we got a catch pan under the car. We didn't drain it from the radiator because if your fluid's still good, I mean, why drain it all the way out? Just just drain what has to come out. So. Let me get my eight millimeter. Five sixteenths. I need a small extension. Uh, these guys are just gonna pop out. I used to hate doing these back in the day. Because I'd take and spin the water pump ten times before all the bolt holes lined up. These water pumps only go on there one way. I'll show you which way here in a second. So now I'm just going to take a pry bar and just stick it back there and uh, give it a little tap. Let that drain out. The point of having the cap off of the coolant reservoir is just to make it to where it's not like gurgling, like everything's just going to flow out. And it's just going to be, you know, the top part of the, the motor that you're losing your coolant at. <coughs> okay, so I'm going to clean up all this. But first, I'll show you where we're sitting at on our gasket. So what we did is we um, just took some of this high-tech sealant to, you know, hold the gasket in place. This notch at the top of the water pump is the top, and the gasket comes with one too. The gasket only goes on there one way, water pump only goes on there one way. I'm going to sit and... Uh, clean up all this old stuff and uh, we'll finish putting this thing back together doesn't take that long okay now that we're all clean we're gonna throw this water pump in just remember that's your top and do not 
run all the bolts in separately. Get them all started. Once they're all started, you can slowly uh, put them all in. Okay, so now we're going to take and uh, put our pulley on there. Line these guys up. Do, 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 do. You don't have to tighten them down until <clears throat> you get your belt on. Your belt will help hold it in place. Just uh, finger tight. And your belt diagram should be right there. If you do not have a belt diagram, there is the diagram. That is your crank. So uh, you can hit pause, and uh, that's if your saw already ripped off your diagram. Throw our belt on. Do, 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 do. So make sure you double check all your spots, make sure we're sitting in the grooves right. Tighten them up. box back in and then just make sure you crack that open until no more air comes out or else you'll have an air pocket and you'll be trying to figure out why it keeps overheating but there you have it a uh, water pump on an 06 g6 with a 3.5 less than 10 minutes uh, check us out on Facebook hit the like button subscribe and as always keep wrenching